Okay, so the two terms that we're going to define right now is the x-intercept and the y-intercept of an equation or the graph of a line. So when you have the x-intercept, it is where your line crosses the x-axis. If we take a look right here, that would end up being right here. Okay, and that the point there is 2, 0. For the y-intercept, it's where the line crosses the y-axis. So that would be this axis here, and it crosses right here at 0, 1.5. Okay, now it's important to note where our zeros are when we're referring to our intercepts. So our x-intercept is always going to have a y value of 0. And we can think about that for a second. Where it crosses the x-axis, well, it's never going to rise or lower in the y direction. So that means y is always going to be 0 for an x-intercept. The same thing goes but reversed for the y-intercept. So when we're referring to the y-intercept, it's going to be somewhere along the y-axis. It's never going to go left or right, or else it will no longer be on this line. Therefore, the x value of a y-intercept must always be 0. So it's flip-flopped. y-intercept, x value is 0, x-intercept, y value is 0.